Sydney. It's a nice day today. Just what we want. Got quite a few things on today as well. Ah. Ah, I know what that is. I've been waiting for this for a while. No way. I wonder how I missed that delivery. Hmm. Should I crack on with my tasks? Or should I open that? Ah, I think I know, know the answer to that. Well, let's pick that up. And let's go sort this out. This is going to be pretty decent. I know. I know. Don't worry. We'll sort you out in a second. Ah, let's have a quick look at this. They've got some feed left anyway. Oh, they're moaning at. Maybe they're just saying hello. But let's go sort this out. I have been waiting for this for ages. What the hell is that? Hey, up, George, you alright? Oh, I'm alright, what the hell is that? My new drone. Oh, no, it's big, isn't it? Much bigger than the other one. I don't want to know how much that cost you. It'll just make me mad. <laughs> What's it got to do with you? I, I paid for it. Oh, I know, but technically it's the money I pay you with, and I just know you're faffing about. I'm oh, faffing. I love these. Brilliant these drones are, these DJI ones. Well, if you say so. You know, mate, what are you going to do with that? Take off? Tell you one thing, you might be able to get out in the fields with that. I'm not so sure about that, George. Anyway, how are you feeling? You feeling better now? Oh, I'm feeling spot on. Absolutely spot on. Shifted that pretty quick, I did. Not bad for a bloke my age. Got over that quite well. Yeah. self inflicted like, but fair play. Ah, uh, well, I've learnt this time. If I go fishing, either put it in the fridge or eat it straight away. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want food poisoning, do you? Ah, uh, you can see that again. Anyway, what are you up to today? Well, I'm going to go and get that spreader first thing. I'll tell you that now from uh, Keith. I'm going to do some fur spreading. So uh, I'm going to probably buy a bit of nitrogen. I did mention it to you, George, so just want to check that's still right. <sighs> I'd rather you not tell me about it, but fine. We need some. And oh, we got some in there. I'm sure we have. Yeah, we have, but look, just, just come and have a look so you know I'm not wasting your money. Oh, uh, well, you know, get me come here, go there. What's next? It's a five-second walk. Stop moaning. It's too early. Uh. Anyway, look, sulphur. We need some nitrogen. We can't just keep putting sulphur down. All right, then. One bag will do, though, you know. Yeah, I know. One bag will do. That's fine. Anyway, what's left over I might use in my field. <laughs> now we know why you're buying it. Mm, you know. Well, that's not the main reason, is it? But if there's any left over, I may as well. Oh, I'll see if there's any left first, but priority's that linseed. Anyway, are you planting in, are you, in that field already? Well, I was thinking about it. I was thinking of borrowing the plough by the end of the day, after I've done the spreading, sort the cows out. And, uh, yeah, I was going to yeah, plough it in and then plant something in. I don't know what I'm going to plant yet. I might go with something easy, to be honest, but don't give off straw. Uh, or if we get the straw, I might do what Tony did. <laughs> and uh, cultivate it back into the land. Are you mad? Will you bail it up and we'll have it? Are you stupid? Yeah, I'm only messy, mate. Yeah, if I do get a crop that's got a straw, of course I'll bail it up and we can use it here. We may as well. It's not like I'm going to sell that. This farm, it'll come in handy on this farm. Anyway, you can show me this thing or what? You actually want to see it? Oh, well, may as well. Well, you got it out. All right, um, give me a second. Let me set it up. Blow me now, fire, it's loud, isn't it? What about? It's not that bad. Have you heard it? It's like a swarm. I've got a swarm coming. It's not that bad, George. Hey, look at this. What are we looking at? It's a small screen. I must go see that. Ooh, that's a nice view. Look at that. Hey, there's your Leyland. I got it. <laughs> that's nifty, isn't it? Well, no wonder you like this. Hey, 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 go see Tony's farm. What are you on about? Come on, come on, let's go see Tony's farm. Alright, and chill out. I'm going now. Still trying to get hang of this. It's a bit different than the other one. I thought you were good at these things. Come on, stop faffing. Go see Tony's farm. Yeah, right, and hmm, This is brilliant, this is. You have a very good nose. <laughs> it's not what it's made for, George. So when we're out in the fields, I can take some shots. Oh, be alright, you can still do that. But, well, well, we're up. We may as well have a look, haven't we? 
Hey, look at that. You ain't got a clue. Right over him. Hmm. Looks like they've uh, sorted some of it out, haven't they? Oh, yeah, I said to you that the other day. I know, but you do say a lot of nonsense. I don't know whether to believe you're not half time. Right then. What if he comes out and he sees it? He'll blooming hear it. If you know how loud it is, I can still hear it now. It's probably because it's the sound coming through. Well, it might be. Oh well, yeah, that sound that is. Let me know. Yeah. Quite impressed with it, I'll be honest. I told you you would be, didn't I? See? It's not that bad, George. No, it's pretty decent, that is. I'll give you credit. Oh, oh. I mean, look at that, George. What a view, eh? Oh, you kind of go wrong in Carmsden. Top area. It really is. Right, well, stop faffing. you got jobs due. Yeah, right, and I'm bringing it back down now. Don't worry. Well, hurry up, then. Like I said, we've got stuff to do. What do you mean you ain't got nothing to do? It's me that's doing it all. Well, you know, still. I have to supervise, make sure you earn your pay properly, not just faffing about playing with toys. It's not really a toy, though, is it, George? Well, looks like one to me. Fair play. Hey, I'm coming down now. I know, I watch me. Don't hit me with it. Let me know. Take me eye out, that will. Well, don't, well, back off then. Don't walk to it. I'm not. You're following me. Hey, there you go, George. Not too bad, is it? Oh, it's all right, that is. Might come in handy if we have some bad weather. Yeah, probably would, actually. It's a good idea. Right, well, don't leave it there. It's in the way. Pick it up and move it out of the way. I aren't. I'm going to fold it up now and take it with me. I'm going to leave it here, am I? Right, anyway. I'll check on cows, but they have got a bit of feed, so I don't think they need topping up. Um, but I might go off to Keith's and go and get that uh, spreader. And then I'll head down to the uh, to the store and pick up some... Uh, Fertiliser. Radio. Right, well, don't faff about too much. I'm sure there's other things you can be doing. I know what you like. You'll get on that drone soon enough. Well, I forgot the time. It's that on my field. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty nifty, this, isn't it? I'm happy with this. I really am. Right, so. Just trying to think. Yeah, we'll take this with us. Why not? Let's, uh, let's get in the Leyland. Take this with us and head off, eh? Yeah, I think the Leyland will be fine with the with the uh, spreader on the back. We may as well give it a good run out. Actually, that being said, this is going to get some use soon, especially out on that field. George seemed up up for the idea as well for me to to use a plow, so we'll definitely get on that today. Ah, right, there we go. Just plonk it down there for a sec. Oh, I know Keith is sound with this, and it's good news because. We want to get in that field before we start doing damage to that crop. It'll bounce back up at the moment, but if it gets any taller, I don't going to have much joy. And the last thing we want to do is do any damage. I won't hear the end of it. George will soon tell me off. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know what I'm happy about the most? The weather. It's much improved. That recent spell we had... Of, uh, the cold weather, the frost, and even before that, all the snow. Luckily, we've missed all that. Do you know what I haven't seen in ages? Mick. I know he's still a busy man, you can tell, but I haven't actually spoke to him in a while. I hope he's getting on. I probably should check in with him soon. I mean, he did help me out, didn't he? Give me some training that time. Whilst the uh, renovations were happening to the farm. And I still earned a bit of cash because of that, so... Yeah, we'll go check in on him soon. We'll see how he's getting on. We know Keith's all right, because, well, we assume he's all right for what he says, but then again, I haven't got a clue what he's saying. Right, there we go. I will just connect it, and then I'll quickly just go give him the heads up. But, uh, yeah, we're heading off with it. He won't mind. He's already said we can have it, so... The last thing he's going to do is moan about it. I mean, is that a bit of bit? To be honest, I'm starting to worry that we've uh, we've tried to bite off more than we can chew with this. But we'll find out. Let's go quickly. Just let him know. Um, I 
I don't know what you just said, mate. I'll be honest. I haven't got a clue. I couldn't even make that out. Heads or tails? Anyway, I'm uh, just picking up the spreader. I'm going to head off and go do that first. I'll bring it back when I'm done, yeah? See you in a bit, mate. Right, well, he seems all right with it. And that's the main thing. Let's just hope this won't bounce out. I need a front weight, really. Thinking about it. It's uh, quite a big thing, but then again... Luckily, it's not all steel. There's a bit of wood there, hopefully making it a little bit lighter than how it looks. Right, let's head down to the dealership, and we'll go buy some fur. And if it's not a good price there, we'll head up to the garden centre, because I know they've got some some good options when it comes to fertiliser up there. Right, so what I am hoping is that we can get a big bag fill it straight up, save us travelling with a big bag, because I'm definitely not going to be able to travel with it, that's a fact. It looks a bit busy here today. Let's park it over here, and I'm hoping then we can ask the dealership just fill this up for us. And whatever there's left, we'll come back for. I'm going to leave it. Hey, now look at them. See, that's the kind of truck I'm after. Anything like that. It's even got a winch. Do you know what? I'd have any of them. I really would. Something simple like that. We don't need too much. We really don't. Right there, buddy. Hmm. There we go. Full up to the brim. That's not too bad. So I'll put it on George's account. And uh, hopefully he's probably... And uh, I think he'll be happy because we haven't used it all. We've got a little bit left and we're going to have to come back for it. But I have told the dealership... You know, they, were ca they kindly loaded into, into it for me, but we're going to need to come back for that. Um, and if I leave it, well, George ain't going to be happy at all, like I said, so we'll definitely come back for it. It's not like it's going to go anywhere. And it looks like the clouds are shifting as well, so we might get a bit of pure sunshine later because the sun is out now. So let's hope the clouds shift quick enough. But we'll go and get straight into the field with this, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, crack on because... Uh, that field really does need a bit of fertiliser. Look at that. Sun's proper shining through. We really have got out of the winter period. Um, and even though we're like near the end of February, it does feel later on already. Right, so let's crack on with this. I am going to get the drone out as well for this because it's going to be a perfect chance for us to test it out. Definitely both of these fields are going to need the full sweep. They really are. It does cover a good distance though, this spreader. So we shouldn't need to faff about for too long. Anyway, there we go. Let's get this sorted out and spread in this field. I will stop in a second. Let's just see how we're getting on. And we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll uh, get the drone out and make sure we do both fields with a good covering on them. There we go, job done. We spread the fur that we need in that field, and that is now it. That field will be ready to go very soon. So now all we need to do is just pick up the plow. We'll go and do a bit of plowing in that new field. I think George shouldn't mind too much. Hopefully, anyway. 
Um, but I will ask him because it is early on still. And uh, I have got to sort the cows out. But I just think they're not quite ready yet. So why not get this done? Let's just drop this off here. It should be alright for a bit. We will take it back to, to Keith's. But there is a little bit left in. And obviously we need to get the big bag as well. So what I'm thinking is actually we might be able to use this on the field. Fingers crossed. George won't mind. Right, I am going to have to move some stuff out. I think it's somewhere around here. I've uh, lost track of where all the gear is. That's our old mower that needs scrapping. But where is the plough gone? Hmm. I mean, it's not even a big farm. There it is. I'm just hidden away. Happy days. Yeah, let's uh, quickly just give George a bell. Let's see what he says. Hey, George. You okay? I'm a right. Just chilling. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm alright. I've just done all the fertiliser spreading, so that's sorted out. But I just thought, because of the time, um, would it be alright if I go and head to my field and do a bit of ploughing? Probably not going to do it all, but I'd like to get a bit of an head start because, yeah, I'm hoping to get some crop in next month. Uh, have you done everything on the yard? Well, still got to feed the cows, but it's a little bit early for that. They've got enough for this morning, so I was just going to give them a bit later on. So I was hoping to do this in between instead of just, you know, trying to find other jobs to do. Uh, you definitely done everything you can. What about the grass field? Well, that's sorted out. I did the, uh, the spreading on that, so we're just waiting for that now. Uh, go on then, why not? Don't a faff about though, make sure you back and do the feed. Yeah, I will do, promise you. Don't worry, I won't forget that. Right, and George, nice one for that. I'll, uh, I'll head off now and uh, try and get as much done before I get back later on and sort the cows out. Well, all right, and see you in a bit. See you, mate. Uh, job done. Happy days. Now I'm just going to put this here because I'm not actually entirely sure. My box itch is gone. I think we're just there, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So we're a little bit off. Right, so we're going to try this out on the the Leyland because I am worried that if we don't, if this hasn't got the juice for this job, it is only a small plough, but it's still a pretty big task for this Leyland. I'm hoping it does the job. If not, we might have to somehow try and convince George just to let me plough this field. Because it's a grass field, we definitely need to plough it that first time. After that, we can always use a cultivator. But yeah, in the meantime, we definitely need to figure this out. I mean, I'm not hopeful. I kind of feel like it's a bit of a flip of a coin. This is going to be able to do it. I think we'll be all right going downhill. But coming back up, and this sure has a hill in it. It's definitely not a level field. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Sign's still there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, just trying to think the best way to do this. I think it'd be better to go downhill. This is a bigger climb, so we'll go downhill this way. And we'll basically go clockwise around this field. Let's just see how we get on. Should be, like I said, something worth giving it a go anyway. Now, we'll leave a bit of hedge space because, you know, wildlife and all that. And off we go. So far, so good. We have. We are going a little bit slow, and there is a few stones popping up. I was worried about that. But we might have to just leave them in. As long as they're not too big and too many. It shouldn't be too bad then. Yeah, it's definitely not liking it. I will admit that. It's like we've got a big groundbreak that it's trying to force through. You can tell that there's not enough horsepower as of yet, but we, we'll find out definitely when we try and go uphill. Because so far we are actually doing a bit of ploughing. I think it is important though that we try and maximise the space we've got here. We really need to make some money back now that I've got a £20,000 loan. And I would like at some point to get myself a new truck. Definitely. 
Not even a brand new one, just a second hand one. But you know how Joe says, second hand brand new. Brand new to me, but second hand. Come on. Come on, Leyland, you can do this. Do you know what? It's doing it. We're alright. This is gonna actually get through this field a bit slow, but you know, better than not doing it at all. So let's just get ourselves a nice boundary set. And then we can uh, Yeah, start doing some up and down rows. And uh I'll try and get as much done before probably before the sun goes down because I can do the feed the, the feed mix late at night and we'll get out then I'll probably dr get the drone out throw that up and we'll have a good look as well to see how the field's looking oh, I'm not doing too bad so far it's only been about what 40 minutes we've made with two headland passes and now I'm just setting myself a bit of a target to do or I know the sun's going to go down, so I think this should be a pretty decent chunk to actually finish off before the end of the uh, yeah the end of the day. Before we obviously have to go back to the farm. Now, ideally, what we do is finish this off today. But I do have to keep in mind that I have got I have got jobs on the farm to do for George. And uh, yeah, that's probably the most important bit to do. But so far, this is uh, going really well. Can't ask for more. No, 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 no. This is not what I want. What? Come on, start back up. Oh, I've gone and jinxed myself. No. What's wrong with you? Oh, man. Definitely not the start I wanted. What's going on? I don't even know where to start with it, but she... Yeah, definitely something wrong. Oh, God. Man, this is not what I wanted. How's that happened? I mean, I wasn't even doing too much, really. I mean, without a tractor, I am pretty much, well, yeah, as you can imagine. I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? Oh, man, let me ring George quickly. <sighs> Hello? Hey up, George. All right. You done it already? No, no, not at all. Quite the opposite, actually. Well, what's wrong? You sound a bit worried. Leyland. Leyland's... Died on me completely. You're joking. What have you done to it? Honestly, not much. I've done about three headland passes and I'm on my third stretch across the field. And it's just, yeah, completely died on me. I can't even start it back up. And the plough's down, I can't even lift that back up. So right now, I'm just stuck in this field. Oh, you're joking. What are you like? You do break a lot of things, don't you? Well, I'm glad it wasn't my tractor. That's all I can say. Well, it is my plough, so we're going to have to get that back, aren't we? Ideally, I want to get this done. I want to get it fixed. Well, the way you're making it out might be the end of it. Don't say that, George. Well, it's true, mate. These things happen. Uh, let me get on the phone to Mick. I'll get him down to you. All right, then. No worries. Oi, chin up. We'll sort it. Yeah, cheers, George. Cheers. See you in a bit. See you, mate. God, that is the last thing I wanted. Fingers crossed Mick can get down here and sort this out for me. But probably going to cost me some, even if I can get it fixed. Not what I wanted at all. I was making good progress as well. Ah. Not a productive day on the farm. Not at all what I like to say.